Okay, today we're doing a repair on a green Jeep Cherokee. We're doing the front wishbone bushes, the ones at the rear. Here we go, we've just replaced this one, the left hand side one. And you can see the rubbers, or the bushes actually spun on that. So that's why we're replacing them. There's what's called the Jeep death wobble, and that it's what actually adds to that wobble when you're uh, driving along in the steering. So what we're going to do, first of all, just so we minimise the effect on the wheel alignment, is to just put a little scrape mark there so you can see where the original one sat. I've also put a little liquid paper mark there that shows the, the line of it because when we take that wishbone down, it'll actually drop down so you want to make sure it's on that angle so it's not actually twisting or anything like that when it's running and to get them off basically you need to take off this front one here this one you need to mark as well because that that's how they adjust the wheel alignment or the toe in toe in toe out camber etc so just mark where it was when you do these sort of jobs you need to get a wheel alignment done afterwards anyway. So basically we're going to leave, leave all this intact, we're just going to lower this whole thing down just so we can get access to cut the rubber on that bush to take it off and then we'll just get an angle grinder and just put a mark through the, the metal part of the bush and then we can just knock it off. And these are all 21 mil. So it had a bit of water in there. And those are 13 mil. There's two over here and one over here. Okay, we've taken the nut off that one there, taken the nut off that one, and now before we take this out and pull that bolt out there that's acting like a pin, this whole thing will lower or drop down a little bit. It'll drop down until that strut hits that axle shaft, CV shaft there. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is support it with our jack and just support it so we, we can take those bolts out. There we go, we've got a bit of tension there. And now we just tension it up or lower it down just so we can pull this bolt out. And now I can remove this one here. Now we can just lower that jack and you'll see this lowering down just slowly. Watch your fingers. Got that bolt out, now we can lower it down. And that's just to gain a bit better access there. You can see the rub is all torn there. It's probably spinning on that as well. And these are pressed onto that shaft there on that wishbone. Got this blade that we use. And what we do is we're just going to cut that rubber right around. Sometimes you need to actually hammer it to cut it.
you just have to work it around like that slowly until it cuts that rubber all away. Just be very careful, very sharp knife, very sharp blade. Let's cut it. There we go. Now you can see the bush is pressed onto there. That's that metal sleeve that's on there. We need to get an angle grinder and just cut a little slot. Don't cut right through. You can cut almost through and then we'll get a chisel and just smack it off and it'll just come away. Just cut it, hasn't gone all the way through, and now we can just knock it off with a chisel. Make sure you've got protective eyewear. Now what I like to do is just get like a scraper and just put a chamfer on that on both sides. It'll just get that bush started a lot easier. So just a slight chamfer that I've got a pretty straight cut and it'll also stop that bush from seizing when you're putting it in. There we go. this little driver I've got and that just sits inside the bush just to get it started. If you tap out here you're actually hitting the outside of it through the rubber that's trying to drive that bush in so it'll actually spring too much to be able to drive it on. And you make sure you've got it on the right way. And try and get it on nice and square. All lined up, make sure you put this the right way. There's an R printed on the right hand one and an L on the left hand one. And now we can just slowly jack that wishbone back up. And you'll notice that the bolt holes have moved that way. That's because there's nothing holding the wheel from moving in and out like that. Now that's pressed up there, so I've just got a lever that off just so we can get it close to where it should be. Now as you're jacking it up, you might need to just give it a wriggle. And that's going up nicely. There we go. Let's stop there for a sec. We'll just put some bolts in just so we can concentrate on leveling it up enough to be able to get those pins and bolts back through the holes. Now I've got these bolt holes through. I'll bolts through the holes. And now we've got to line this back one up so these bolts will hold it, hold the front of the wishbone from coming down and I'll just move that block of wood at the back there just so we can line that bolt through the hole. Okay, we've got all the bolts in, we can take this jack out of the way now. Okay, we've put the plate back on, everything's tightened back up. 
hopefully you've been able to put it all back close to where it was originally and like I mentioned earlier now's a good time to take it for a wheel alignment again hope that's helped thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if any of this has saved you a bit of money or giving you a bit of insight into how to do it thank you for watching